My name is Christine Tavares. I'm with the St. Charles City County Library District and welcome to Let's Create. For today's Let's Create, I thought it would be fun to make some marbled paper. It's something that you can use on its own. You can use it for stationery or cards or wrapping paper. You can use it to cover things like cardboard boxes uh, to make little special trinket containers. Um, it's really a process-based kind of art. So what that means is you just start making it and you have fun. So let's see what you need to do. Let's create marble paper. All right, so what you guys need for marble paper is um, an old cookie sheet or just some kind of surface to um, contain the shaving cream, which is your next item. So you guys will need just some shaving cream. Uh, you will need a piece of paper. I have several because we're going to do um, a couple couple different colors uh, with this and you'll need a place where you can get messy for sure um, and just um, a piece of cardboard uh, we're going to use that to scrape the shaving cream off and then if you don't have liquid watercolor really is the best um, if you don't have liquid watercolor um, I would use food coloring I think food coloring would be would be great so we're going to go ahead and get started um, you're going to take your cookie sheet and just going to just kind of smooth it out. I'm going to go ahead and start with some green. I'm going to do some cool colors first. We're just going to kind of put some dots. Um, we have a nice blue. Maybe a little turquoise. And I might throw some purple in there. Let's see. Where's my purple? Where's my purple? So you can leave it like that if you want to, but part of the beauty of making marble paper is to actually marble it. So I forgot to say you also need a pencil or just something kind of something like this that you can kind of swirl. Isn't this so satisfying? Oh, awesome. I'm trying to steal the color. So you can do this as much or as little as you want. I'm going to stop here. And really, the next step is you just kind of choose a spot. Carefully press your paper down on it. It's okay, I got some on the back. That's all right. Make sure that the whole page is kind of squished in that shaving cream. Pull it up. And it'll look like that. You may have some shaving cream on it still. So what I'm going to do is just quickly move this out of the way. This is what that piece of cardboard is for also. Scrape away that extra shaving cream. If you have a sink nearby or a trash can, you can just kind of scrape it off into that. And there is your first piece of my paper. This is also a type of printmaking. <clears throat> and a lot of printmakers will pull more than one print from what they've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this again. I feel like there's a hole right here, so I want to try to... Well, if I can't fill that, my paper is small enough, it doesn't matter. I feel like I'm going to add some more purple, so I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll run it through again. All right, let's see what we get this time. I'm gonna go over here because this is nice and bright. Push it down. Now you know me in my classes, this is a messy class and I'm getting it on my fingers. Can you see that? Food coloring is definitely gonna stay in a little bit. Um, liquid watercolor is the same way, but it comes off in a few days. All right, so this one is a lot harder to see that marbled pattern right away, so. Take this foot to the side. Lay this down. My trusty cardboard. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? I love it. I 
I bet you guys can't wait to get started. All right, just for fun, just for fun, I'm gonna see if I have enough shaving cream. Oh, actually, first, let me back up. This is my first full, my first print. This is my second one. So see, you can you can keep using that same base and um, change it a little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to one color. So I'm just gonna take my piece of cardboard and scrape all of this into my trash can. I'm gonna add some more shaving cream. Now I'm only doing this because I'm switching to a completely different color palette. If you guys wanted to add different colors right on top, you can definitely do that. But, oh, I'm running out of shaving cream. Let's see what I can get with it. Hopefully you will have more shaving cream than me. And I do have a tiny bit of blue that's kind of pulling through there, but I think I'm gonna be okay. I will be okay. All right, yep, we can get away with this. Okay, so warm colors. Remember we talked about on my last video that warm colors are colors of fire, colors of the sun. So I'm starting with red. What do you guys think next? I think yellow. Almost out of yellow, it seems very popular. So this is gonna be a special print because I'm almost out of yellow. <laughs> got some orange and I think I am going to use some of that magenta sometimes I consider that a warm color let me find it again because it is made mean of red and a little bit of blue okay let's see what this does definitely a different kind of feeling from this piece down. You see how I'm kind of squishing it down towards pushing the shaving cream away? That's what you need to do to make sure it's all covered. Pull it up. Lots of shaving cream on there. I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to scrape it. Get the best part. <gasps> Amazing. Awesome. All right, so pool number three, it doesn't really count because I started over pool number two, pool number one. Now I just happen to have a giant piece of paper. So just for fun, in my last pool, my last print, I'm going to see if I can get it. And then maybe I can make some. Why did I do that? I don't have to do that yet. I'm going to see if I can it to fit across. What I was supposed to do was move it before, but too late. All right. Let's see if this works. My giant, ooh, giant piece of paper. It's not going to cover the whole thing, but that's okay. But because it's in this cookie sheet and it has sides, I can really squish it down. Really make sure that everything got covered. This one's going to be a nice here. Pull it up. Oh, I got some blue in there. With my handy dandy cardboard. Oh, amazing. Love it. All right, you guys. I'm sure, do something pretty cool today. If you decide to do this at home, I would love it if you would come and show me. You're gonna okay. All right, so there's my last one. Here's my first one. Here's my second one. And here's my third one. Thanks, guys. I hope you had fun with marble paper, and I hope to see you at the library soon.